All right, this is going to be a unique podcast today, yeah. I think. We're yeah. going to talk about change. Yep. We're going to talk about focus. Um, and I think it's appropriate for us to talk about a little bit of why and how hard it is, mm -hmm. but why it's also important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I, that feels right. Um, we've had a big week. We have. Uh, we raised money. Well, we've had a big couple of weeks, right? Uh, quarterly report yep. released. Yep. We raised money. And we sh uh, we shifted focus. I would say we focused. We we reordered the we ordered way in the which priorities. we're gonna um, do this thing. Yep, and we furloughed. And we furloughed. Yeah, I think. Um, I mean, that's heavy, right? Uh, you know, I it is, and I absolutely love the people that work here. Yeah. Like they're amazing people, but. For the company to realize this vision, for the company to execute well, we have to make these really tough decisions that are really hard. And ultimately, I mean, we're running a business. Yes. And and the f the fundamental sort of back to like beginner level business is like you have some resources, you decide what you're going to do with them to then ultimately like get to some sort of business goal. And the resources we have right now after the raise weren't what we were hoping. Yeah. I think we've always done sort of as much as possible with what we have. 100%. Since since day, day one, one when I was when right. I started with you guys, um, it's always been getting the most out of every dollar, right? Yeah. So that's not new. No. For us. Yeah. No pun there. Like uh, that's not it new. It is new, actually. Yeah. yeah. That's new through and it through. It is new. But um, okay. So let's talk about this. Uh we released our quarterly report for the second mm -hmm. quarter. Uh, we went out and raised additional capital mm -hmm. because we're developing products. We're an operating business. We need capital to operate the business, to develop yep. product, to manufacture product, yep. uh, and get it out there and generate revenue. Everybody wants us to see, okay, you've been talking about things for a long time. We've been developing stuff for a long time. Can you actually turn that into a dollar? Right, right. And I think um, even we're in this every single day. And so I think even we get kind of lingo-y now. Um, we're like, yes. okay, our, our quarterly report, our 10Q. So basically that means that we came out and we published our financials from Q2, yep. which is something we're required to do as a public company. Luckily for us, we've been doing this for years at this point because even when we were private, we had to do things like um, annual reports and whatnot. Um, but that came out and said, okay, world, here's the financial state of the business that we're running. Yep. And I don't think there were any surprises. No, nope, um, we were there. tracking. Yep, we got it done. It's a big effort to get that done, but we got it done. And then we immediately came out and said, okay, hey, we need to raise more capital. Well, all right, let's talk about new, like let's back up a little bit, right? So new has been an energy company. We do, we, you know, vehicles is part of the vision, charging mm -hmm. infrastructure is part of the vision, batteries is part of the vision. Yep. And for years, we've um, been developing some key technology pieces in there. And over the last year, we've had to strategically position ourselves to overcome all of these like economic challenges, all of these market challenges that are out there. We had the SPAC boom. We've talked about that, right? Yeah. We've had the investor sort of sentiment towards companies that are developing technology mm -hmm. in this space. And, and, like, and I mean, I think that can sound even vague to people, but the reality is like today, uh, the things that investors look for when putting in money into a company are completely different than they were a couple of years ago. A couple of years ago, it was like, what's your vision? Yeah, that's awesome. Let's go. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now it's like, okay, can you operate a business? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I would argue that we can operate a business. Yes, um, we've been doing it. Um, for, for years, because seven years. as a crowdfunding company, essentially your income uh, it was investor investment in the company from retail investors, and we were raising money every single day. Yep. And then our product was making progress toward those milestones. Yes. And we had to decide on a we were doing it on a weekly basis of okay, we brought in X number of dollars. What do we spend on to maximize for our ability to deliver on progress on Yeah, milestones? I mean basically for everyone who's listening, what that means is most companies they bring in a bunch of money. Yep. And they burn it towards zero, then they bring in more and they burn it and towards zero. And big lump sums. And big lump sums. We generated what we 
referred to as revenue. We operated like it was revenue and we operated the business that way. Yep. Um, now today, in the current economic state of the, the company and uh, not just the company, but like the world, mm -hmm. when it comes to batteries, EVs and things like that, there's a lot of turmoil out there. Mm -hmm. We're seeing a lot of um, for sale signs. I think in our particular situation, we've been developing this unique technology around charging infrastructure, and it's always been tied to our mission on batteries. So we know that we're developing battery technology that can do things like charge quickly yeah. and things like that. There are other companies building technology that's like higher energy density. Maybe it's fast charge times, maybe sure. it's whatever it is. This technology segment is coming and it's core to like success in this business. And we very Especially much so want to be a part of that. Because one, I think the the part that um sprung us into really making sure that this was something we were working on was knowing that that was the one of the primary drivers for how uh, battery packs actually perform and meet yes. performance requirements, but also um, the majority of the cost associated with vehicles is batteries. Yeah. And, and so that that's a key the, piece to this ecosystem. Yeah, the sure. big piece is batteries. That's the biggest cost item. And that's a driver for why we're you know pursuing that. But yep. um, even if you built the best battery in the world, the infrastructure is not there. And uh, I mean, from an industry trends perspective, so over the last few months, and we've been talking about this on the podcast even, uh, all these big OEMs are coming out and they're screaming for charging infrastructure because it's the biggest reason why they're not selling more electric vehicles today. Yeah. Now, I think what's there's an interesting thing that as we're talking about this that I'm thinking about, um, and it's part of the strategy of what we just employed, mm -hmm. is we've had a battery program going, a pack program going. We had a vehicle program going. We have a charging program going. Our charging program has operated like a startup mm -hmm. since it's like progressed, right? It's like a five person team. Right. And that five person team has gone from an idea and concept to a functioning system. And then now it's grown to, I think it's roughly like a 12 to 15 person team. Mm -hmm. And that 12 to 15 person team has now started to build the software cloud infrastructure, the mobile infrastructure, the hardware, like hardware and software infrastructure for the charging system to the point where we've actually demonstrated like that end to end workflow. Right. And now we're starting to like get to the point where we're like, hey, now we're starting to build the API sort of plugin model around how do we pull somebody else into this piece? How do so we pull we someone else into this so we can charge other anything? Other vehicles, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what I think a core focus for any company should be is that any new product should operate like a startup. It should be yeah. a four or five person team. Mm -hmm. And then you should add some more resources, even though it's painful, right? And what I mean by painful, it's like there's a lot of work to do. Sure. And you have a small number Everyone's of resources wearing doing multiple hats. Everyone's yeah. wearing multiple hats. You build a small team and the small team executes and they're driven by the mission and then you build another, like you sort of grow from there. Mm -hmm. And what, as I'm thinking through this and have we, have we gone through the decision making and like everything that we've gone through the, for the past week, um, it's okay. We had this startup team mm -hmm. working within the organization driven by this mission mm -hmm. to build the infrastructure piece, to complement the other things that we're doing. Yeah. It's like the middle connection piece, right? Between the two sides of this energy ecosystem. Mm -hmm. And it represents a near-term, much-needed market opportunity. Ford is like, we need this. Like the Ford CEO right. just went and did something the other day where he like drove an F-150. Um, GM needs it. Lucid, premium vehicle product, they need this stuff. Mm -hmm. Nikola, Daimler, Freightliner, like all these companies. Apparently like Faraday Future. Faraday Future. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they need infrastructure to be successful. Right. And the biggest player is Tesla, but Tesla isn't covering the entirety of the market and they don't have enough. Right, right. There's so much white space in terms right. of charging infrastructure that um, there won't be just one player and uh, there is so much opportunity, especially yes. I think what's exciting about what we've built so far is it proves out sort of the future proofing, um, which is, you know, it's not 50 kilowatt stations. It's not no. 150 kilowatt stations. We're talking about megawatt plus, which should be enough for the foreseeable future to actually shift the like commercial groups to electric, which right now yeah, they, you're hitting, they can't, they, they won't. They can't. Yeah. You're hitting that point, right? Where everyone's like, okay, now charging is not the bottleneck and that's what right. you want to get to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this week, last week, 
some big shifts, some big changes, some challenges in the market, yeah. right? And I think it it's key to point out that from a strategic standpoint, we've sort of like hit this moment where it's like, we got to do this thing. Yeah. And, and I mean, um, things happen, some in our control, some outside of our control, but it's our job to adapt, yeah. right? And so um, looking at the realities of where we were, we said, okay, like now's the time for charging. Yep. Yep. So um, that's what we're doing. Like that's our focus. I'm really excited about it. I, I am. think, um, I mean, this journey so far has been uh, a constant of us adapting to the realities of the situation and whatnot, but we've never budged on the vision. And we're in a spot now where the charging program that we have is so close to being ready to go out and actually start making that difference and like get on the ground and charge vehicles in public. And so we're gonna start actually realizing that for yeah. the first time with product and market. That's a big deal. It's a big deal because it's something that we, I mean, we've got this plan Mm -hmm. We have this thing that we're implementing, right? Where it's like, we're going to get this one out there and it's sure. going to go and then we're going to grow and continue to grow from there. Mm -hmm. And our mission is to build the best like networked, connected charging infrastructure that exists. Yep, absolutely. Um, and focus on the markets that don't have infrastructure today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think this is a huge opportunity. Everyone's talking about it. It's popular today. It needs to happen, but it needs to happen in such a way that it's very thoughtful Mm -hmm. and how we do it. Um, it's very focused in how we do it, and it's sort of like capture a segment, move here, move here, move here, and not just like scatter it randomly. Right. We're not We're not thinking, okay, we're just going to um, start putting charging stations in random spots. I mean, we've always been very clear about major highway corridors is what matters. Yes. And so we have this opportunity now to start building out this electric route. We'll start locally because we're here and there's so much benefit from a business perspective to get the first one on the ground here. Yep. And then we start building that, that road, that, that yeah. route. Yeah. Let's start building these routes. Let's start, you know, focusing on the need and mm -hmm. delivering opportunity for those that ask for it and those that need it. Mm -hmm. So um, big changes here at New, lots that we've announced this week. Um, you know, tough decisions were made. Yep. Um, we are resilient, though. We are still hyper-focused on our long-term mission. Mm -hmm. We're still hyper-focused on that long-term vision for the company. We've got a team of people that have proven over and over again that they can deliver. Yep. Um, and they can build something. You talk about, like, having a startup within a startup. Um, it feels silly given that we are at a large, like at the company level, a startup. But this group of people has done so much with so little. They have been a startup that has been hyper-focused, executing within the organization. And we've got some new team members who've successfully delivered product to market, uh, specifically right. in the charging space. I mean, I think this rocket ship is take ready it off. to take off. Yeah, yeah it's, really it's cool. very exciting. All right. <laughs>